Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. I'm Inferno Man, and if you missed in the last episode, we got a little bit lost, so to make sure that we did not get lost any further after that, I looked up where we were supposed to go after uh, what went on in the last episode in Celestic Town, and we're actually supposed to go back to Jubilife City because we're supposed to go west. And uh, I did teach for Alligator Surf, so it does know that now. Everybody is at least level 37 for Alligator, the only one that's level 38. And every, everything's going good. Uh, I put Keps in the front since, you know, he was the one that was behind in levels the whole time. But everything's good. And if you're wondering why some things may be different in terms of quality, it's because I'm using OBS now to record videos, which um, I do explain in the first episode of the Black 2 randomizer type lock, which the first episode goes up this Thursday, so uh, you guys can look forward to that. Uh, let's get a surf encounter for over here, or a water encounter, you know, fishing, surfing, either one works. So if, if we can actually run into something, that would be nice. Yeah, there we go. Our fishing slash surfing encounter for this is going to be a Ladian. All right. Yeah, that's, that's definitely not something that I'm going to be planning on using. But, back to the type block. Make sure you don't miss the first episode. Support on that is greatly appreciated. And it's going to be a Choose My Starter episode, so you guys get to choose which Pokemon I use for that. And that's pretty exciting. Uh, let's see if we can catch it in just a regular Pokeball. I mean, Ultra Ball, not a regular Pokeball. If we can catch it in Ultra Ball. Um, two? Oh, nope. Just one roll. I was kind of expecting it to capture because, you know, it's a Ladian, but, you know, can't always expect that, can't just jump to conclusions, so I'm going to use a Tackle. Of course we miss, but it's okay, we can use it again. There we go. I didn't even know Tackle could miss, I don't remember it missing. It's just a move that hits so often you probably don't even think about if it can miss or not. Alright, try another Ultra Ball. Hopefully it catches this time. But yeah, I'm really happy about switching to OBS. Uh, wow, it didn't even capture. Uh, because I can actually see what the video looks like on my layout right now, which before I couldn't because I just played on the emulator, recorded the emulator, recorded my camera, and then put on the layout later. But I can save myself time now because I just have it on here uh, in, in OBS. And all I have to do in terms of editing is add the death counter and uh, the Pokemon images of who's on the team. But there we go, we caught Lady in. Uh, I'm gonna, I know it's a female, but I'm going to name this thing Daniel, because one, its name is an anagram of Daniel, and another thing, Daniel, aka Patters, hates Lady in. So I'm going to name this after the person who hates it the most. Sir Daniel the Patters. But it's, it's a lady. Alright, I'm not going to worry about those surfer guys. But if you're wondering what we're supposed to be doing here. Uh, I just read that we're supposed to head west from Jubilife City. And we're going to end up having a berry battle. So, well, Brandon battle. You know, a rival battle. That's what we're going to have. There we go. Um, Poet Mia. What's up, Poet Mia? How are you doing today? Toxic Croak. Good old Toxic Croak. Uh, but that's fighting poison, so it's not the best idea to keep Kepsin in. Um, it's a really good idea to switch to Luki, however, because Luki is a Psychic type and knows Psychic. And also knows Fly, but, you know, we're going to use Psychic because it's four times effective. Mud Bomb, how much damage is that going to do? Not much. Even with a crit, it didn't even do much. Alright, we're going to use Psychic. That's going to one-shot. Also, another episode to look forward to... Uh, besides the, the type lock, tomorrow, uh, uh, when this goes up, tomorrow will be the finale to the base game part of the Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke. And by base part, I mean I will be continuing it for the DLC, but this is technically like a season one. Uh, the last episode of that goes up tomorrow, so if you want to see how it all ends, i really appreciate it if you guys check out that episode. Um... Hopefully, hopefully that gets as much support as the first episode did, because I tend to notice that first episodes and last episodes of the series get a lot of uh, support more than other episodes, because it's like the filler in the middle is like 
oh yeah, that's that's the actual game. You've seen the game you played a million times, but like the first episode was like, what starter does he choose? And the last episode, like, does he win the Nuzlocke? That's that's basically what comes to mind on why people watch those episodes more than the other episodes. Um, but there we go. Also, if you miss like one of the episodes, people aren't necessarily concerned about catching an episode if they missed it. Um, because it's just the filler, and if there's another episode, that means they didn't lose the Nuzlocke in the last episode, unless it says starting over from the beginning. So, um, really the filler episodes, the actual, like, meat of the series, for some reason, not everybody watches that. I watch every episode of every series as long as I'm interested in it, but I don't know, I don't know about you guys, um... We can get a grass encounter on this route too, but this is an actual trainer that we're battling here, so. It's a psychic type, but it's also a rock type. Alright, good. Kevson didn't miss. I tend to notice that, um, I mean, I've noticed that high jump kick, I used to think that high jump kick missed more than it hit, but it actually has really good accuracy, so. Um, it only misses a couple of times. There's another normal type that we can battle, so I'll keep Kevson in. Esteban. That's what his name is. Gymnast Esteban is his name. Alright. So, I'm going to ask you guys again how you guys are doing. And, um, make sure you guys answer that uh, in the comments below. I just, I'm just i just curious on how you guys are doing. It's, it's nice to know uh, how my supporters are doing. Alright, our encounter for this route is going to be a Hypno. Not really ideally what I had in mind, but... Um, it's an okay Pokemon. I, the only reason we'd use it is if we lost uh, Lukey, which I don't see happening anytime soon. Uh, we should definitely switch out from Kepson though, because I don't know if you newbies know, but um, fighting is weak to Psychic. I know, big shocker there. Uh, speaking of shocker, I think we're going to switch to Neo, uh, because we can use a fighting type move to weaken it, and it doesn't have to get hurt because it's not a fighting type itself. Meditate. Metatite. Alright, we'll low kick it. See how much damage that does to it. Hopefully not too much yet. That didn't do much at all. Poison gas. Yikes. Alright. Yep, that was good no, uh, Good damage. I think we'll chuck a ball at it now. Like I said, I don't, I don't see us really using this anytime in the future. Um, but it, it is a pretty solid encounter. I'm going to check to see what else we could have gotten, but... You know, Hypno's not that bad. Not that bad. Alright, there we go. I think I'm going to name this after another supporter of the channel. Uh, so let's see what we can name this. Shout out to you if you end up being... Your name ends up being on this Pokemon. Just have to see who to name it after. Like, I, like I've said before, if I name a Pokemon after somebody who supports the channel, most likely they have their own channel, so make sure you check out that channel. Um, I don't leave them in the description anymore, but I will tell you what the name of the channel is, so... Let's check that out real quick. Let's see... Oh, I didn't even notice that Zwigo followed me back. Zwigo is a content creator that has plenty of subscribers. <laughs> I didn't even realize he followed me back. That's interesting. Um, you know, this is female, but there's not many female. All right. Uh, sorry if, if I'm offending you by naming <laughs> this hypno after you there. Wow. That camera decided to do that, but that, that's interesting. Uh, we're going to name this after Hoki Shidori. So, Shidori the Hypno. I don't know if I'm going to end up using it, but there we go. Shidori the Hypno. Out of the BC. Thank you, Pokestory, for following me on Twitter. I don't know if you watch my videos, but if you do, congratulations on getting a Pokemon named after you. And I hope you check out other videos in the future. And I hope you guys check out her channel. Alright, a Charmeleon. We could have had a Charmeleon. That would have been great. Uh, we don't have a fire type. Yeah, we don't have a fire type or a flying type. So that would have been great to have a Charizard on the team. Alright. Let's see what this guy wants. Long time no see. Yeah, I have no idea who you are. Thanks for letting me know who you are. Because I probably wouldn't have 
mugged you if I didn't know you were Professor Roan's assistant. Just kidding. Mugging isn't an option in this game, so I can't do it anyway. Keep an eye on Team Galactic, bro. I just defeated their leader. I kicked his butt. Kicked his booty. Cantalave City, we made it, ladies and gentlemen. When do we fight Brandon? Because I know that it said that we do. Maybe we fight him in front of the gym. If there is a gym in this town. Like I've said, I, I, I don't even remember if this town is even in Diamond and Pearl. It might be different. Because this is Platinum. But, you know. Let's see if we can find Brandon. Because I know it's coming up. I hope to see you again, ma'am. Hope you have a great day. And I hope I never have to see you again because that would be terrible. That's like wishing my Pokemon would die. There's Brandon. Time for another battle. Let's go. Yep, someone should check. See, I was right. I'm always right. Don't forget that, kids. If I say something wrong, well, maybe it's because you're wrong and I'm right because I'm always right. Alright, a Badu. That should be an easy challenge. His Pokemon are going to be around the same levels as ours. I was expecting that anyway. I didn't even look at the levels of his Pokemon. I just knew they'd be about the, the level of ours. But, you know what? I grind when I need to grind. And I already got done grinding. So, we should be good for a while. And by a while, I mean probably this episode. Next episode should be fine. Alright, well, Buddy was probably going to be the easiest Pokemon. Drowsy. Well, good thing I just caught a Hypno. Um, I'm going to switch to Felipe, sole purpose of Felipe knowing Crunch. Drowsy! It would be really nice if uh, we battled a trainer that had a shiny. I don't think the randomizer allows you to have Pokemon randomized to shiny in trainer battles. It, UP randomizer doesn't have that option, I don't know if it's automatic or not, but... There, there's got to be randomizer out, ra randomizers out there that let you do that. Vampy, that is a rock type, I believe. It's either that or ground. I feel like such an idiot for not knowing that. Alright. Well, either way, both weak to grass, so here we go. Oh, look at the little elephant. So, so far he has base form Pokemon. One being a baby and one looking like an adorable baby. Look at that baby elephant right there. Fampy is an adorable Pokemon. That didn't do as much as I was hoping. Charm. Nice. It's unfortunate because we're the same gender. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Pedal dance. Pedal dance. There we, oh, come on. I didn't... I, it used Endure right in front of my face and I wasn't even paying attention. But it's okay. That's a multi-turn move, so it automatically went for it again. 1009! Yeah, he's confused, but I don't think we're going to keep him in. Snubble. That is a normal type in this generation, so we'll switch out to Kepsin. Fairy types don't exist. They don't exist. Fairy types are a figment of your imagination until Generation 6. Then you find out that it's actual science that fairies exist. High jump kick. Good job for not missing. Can we one shot? Yes, we can. That's kind of weird that all of his Pokemon are base form Pokemon. Watch, he's going to pull out a Palkia now. Oh, Loudred. That's not a base form, but it's a normal type. That was an easier battle than I was expecting from our rival. He basically had five weak Pokemon. He ends with his lowest level Pokemon. Can we one shot? I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, look at that. That was easier than I was uh, expecting going into it, but, you know. It is a randomizer, that's how things work. Battles can be harder than you think, or they can be easier than you think. Yep, I'm stronger than you, and you'll never be stronger than me, because you're the rival. And if you do get stronger than me and defeat my whole team, well, I lose. So let's hope that doesn't happen anytime soon. Watch, the next time we battle him, he's going to have a full team of legendaries. So yeah, there is a gym. Gym in this town. How much time we got left? Five and a half minutes. Well, I think that we should get the fishing encounter for this uh, beautiful town. No, I did not want the bike. Let's go into the actual bag and grab the fishing rod. 
There we go. Okay, apparently we can't go fishing here. That's that's fantastic. Thanks, Rowan. Wait, maybe we can. Can we fish here? No, not the bike. Alright, no, we can't. Maybe there's a dock somewhere where we can fish. If not, that's probably where I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end off the episode. But um, let's just see if we can catch something right before ending the episode here. There is a dock over here. Uh little shoe head here. Yes, we can use the good rod. There we go. Now we can get a fishing encounter. What's it going to be? Not even a nibble. That's great. It would be nice if we could get encounters easier than they're letting us. Come on. You can do it. Yeah, there we go. What is our encounter for this town? A why not? Everyone knows Locker's worst nightmare. Well, one thing we know is that we can't escape from this thing, but we can catch it. So I'll fake it out here. That's for, yeah, that's that's not going to kill. Okay, good. It did not kill it. One Ultra Ball should work. If not, then I'm going to scream. And you guys can enjoy that. One, two, three, take me out. Okay, let's not do that. Uh, but we caught it, so you guys... Uh, you guys get to keep your ears and your hearing for another day. But I can't promise that's going to stay that way for long. Alright, I'm not going to insult anybody by naming uh, this terrible Pokemon after after them. So I'm going to name this Wendy. And you're probably wondering, why name it Wendy? And to that I say, why not? Alright, there we go. A Wendy... Wendy... Why not name Wendy? That's what I was trying to say. Alright. Now with that, that is going to be it for this episode. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like on the video. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Answer whatever question of the day I came up with, which last episode I forgot to edit it, so it ended up being the same question of the day as the last time. But don't worry, it will be different this time. I'll remember that. Uh, once again, leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new, ring the notification bell so you get notified about future episodes. This is Inferno Man Burning Out, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.